Welcome to AKA Our 80s Life, where we're all about the 80s. And if you love the 80s too, be sure and subscribe to our channel. One thing I really liked about the 80s was candy. Oh yeah. And today we're going to share with you guys some of our favorite candies that we remember eating in the 80s. first candy we're going to try is Atkinson's Peanut Butter Bars. And these bring back lots of memories because I grew up in a town called Nacogdoches in East Texas. And these were manufactured in Luck in Texas, which was 20 minutes away. So most every year when I was in grade school, we always got to go to Lufkin to go on a factory tour to watch to see how the candy was made. And I loved them going and eating all that candy. <laughs> So fun and these are nationally popular I remember having them as well you might also recognize these guys because they make a candy called the chicka stick I think the chicka stick is actually more popular than these peanut butter bars but I like these better so I bought them instead <laughs> these are definitely better if you compare the two I have to say I have not had one of these in many years but I remember really liking them they are a hard candy it's weird. It tastes like peanut butter, but it's a hard candy. They're so good. Mmm. You know what? It's like the inside of a Butterfinger without the chocolate. That's pretty much what it is. Mmm. Thumbs up. Atkinson's Peanut Butter Bars. Practically from Keith's hometown. And we're starting off strong. So that was one of Keith's favorite candies. Now I'm going to share my favorite candy from the 80s and probably still today, and that is Zox. These things kind of freak me out. <laughs> they freak you out? Yeah. Oh good, let's watch Keith get freaked out as we eat a Zox. Awesome. Well, they're probably wondering why they freak me out. Well, I love how they come in these little strings and they come in different flavors, but I got grape because grape is my favorite. Here you go, babe. Thank you. They, um, they fizz. They're a fizzy candy. They have um, like baking soda or something inside of it that makes it really fizzy. Cheers. Boop. Um, so they start out from just like a traditional hard candy. Kind of a sour grape. And then a chemical reaction begins to happen in your mouth. Mm hmm It happens extra fast if you bite into it. It's kind of like Pop Rocks, but... Mm -mm. Well, Pop Rocks, Crackle, and Pop. And this is more of a, like a foam yeah, yeah. that happens in your mouth and foams out. <clears throat> Woo! Oh my gosh, those are so good. So weird. It's like... It's like eating a soda. It's like I'm rabid. <laughs> it's like I have rabies or something. After you eat Zots, if you eat a bunch of these, it makes it, then you burp a lot. Because you're basically just like having some baking soda. The flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. The chemical reaction is really weird. That's, mm. my, that's my take. I love it. I like the feeling of it, the fizzy, tingly feeling, and also really like that kind of sour taste. They're sour. You think I'm weird? You think I'm weird. Anyway, Zot, try them. They're awesome. Speaking of weird candies, Razzles. Razzle Dazzle. First it's a candy, then it's a gum. Now, Keith, you don't remember these? I don't think I've ever had a Razzle Dazzle. They're not called Razzle Dazzle. It's just Razzles. Oh, uh, okay. Razzles. I remember these from the 80s, but mostly I remember them from one of my favorite movies. Do you know what movie these are featured in? Draw a blank. It's not an 80s movie, but I love it. Um, they eat these in 13 going on 30. Oh, okay. Um, and she and her friend remember when they were in the kids in the 80s that they grew up eating these. So, first it's a candy, then it's a gum. But I have to say, the gum is like a weird kind of a powdery gum. Kind is of it like, like a dry gum? Kind of disintegrates in your mouth. But it doesn't though. Oh, they're okay. It just took some form. <laughs> it turns into gum. Isn't that weird? It's kind of chewy. It tastes like a sweet tart, like a Smarty. It tastes like a Smarty. It's not bad. It's not a very big piece. Mm -mm. I like a little piece of gum. Well, you get two in each of these packets. Let's add to it. Oh, you're you're getting two different flavors though. Or do they all taste the same? Oh no, they are different flavors. I had grape and you had 
Watch this. Lemon. lemon mixed with blueberry. Mm -hmm. That's weird. All right, the razzles. First it's a candy, then it's a gum. Next up, Jolly Ranchers. I feel like these were one of the most popular candies in the 80s, although I really have no um, actual proof of that. But that's what I remember. I ate a lot of these in the 80s. I, I did used too. to love, like, you know, the standard flavors are good, mm -hmm. but I always liked it when they came out with special flavors. And my favorite flavor I can remember of all times was pineapple. Oh, yum. That is good. I remember really liking the green apple and watermelon. Yeah, watermelon solid. My choir teacher had this big bucket of Jolly Ranchers and every day if you did a good job in choir, you got a Jolly Rancher. Nice. So thank you, Mrs. Baxley. These remind me of Mrs. Baxley. <laughs> I got my favorite. I'm going with green apple. Uh, I'm going with watermelon, which is my personal favorite. I mean, Jolly Ranchers are still very popular. Mm. I haven't had these in a long time. That's good. The one thing you want to remember with the Jolly Rancher though, do not try and bite into it. You gotta bite them. No. Yeah. Oh no, you can't. No. It'll hurt your teeth. You might lose a tooth, but hey, <laughs> it is worth the risk. Jolly Ranchers just never get old. Yeah. They are a classic. And they come in many variations. So these are obviously the, uh, the standard ones, but y'all remember like the the sticks they used to come in there were they were flat. Yes, the flat sticks, I loved those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they started coming out with little square ones. Yep. I don't even know if they still make those little square ones. I don't know. These are the only ones that I ever see now. Yeah, I've never seen those sticks lately, so I don't know. Yeah. All right, Jolly Ranchers. You know, Keith, back in the 80s, I have to admit, I had a bad habit. I've given it up. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You've probably heard of candy cigarettes, and those were sort of popular in the 80s, but the ones that I really liked were these guys. These are the candy, or sorry, the bubble gum cigarettes. They come in a wrapper that looks like a cigarette, but really it's just paper. On the inside, it's bubble gum. They had powdered sugar layering on the inside so each one you could get about one really good puff of powdered sugar smoke if you blow on these guys <laughs> it's still fun yeah it is we used to play pretend oh, like we were so grown up with our bubble gum cigarettes I know. we do not endorse smoking in any way by the way that's just it's unhealthy. Just candy cigs. These are the best ones to use. Just bubblegum cigarettes. The gum's pretty good too. Is it? Mm -hmm. it's soft. I couldn't get mine open. Pretty good. Oh, here, this one came open. It's like a classic bubblegum. Mine was great. Oh. No, I got pink. Oh, there's a great one. Pink or purple. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know it came in flavors. Just pink and purple. There you go. Next we have pixie sticks. And also these are still popular. So when we were kids, what we tried to do is see how much of the uh, powder we could put in our mouth at one time. From the smaller ones though, right? Not this giant one. No, but I think we should try that challenge with this bigger one. Oh my, I don't think so. You think, I don't know. think you could put that whole thing in your mouth? No, no way. Maybe a traditional one. But the, uh, so the traditional ones are paper. These larger ones come in the big, in the plastic straw. And I remember I only got these big ones. They used to have some really yeah, long ones that were like really a yardstick. Nice. I only got those usually like at Christmas in my stocking, but in between times, the paper ones. But we're, we're going all out. Now, I, only, I was too cheap though. I only bought one. We have to share it. Okay, you wanna go first? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Y'all. He only got this much. Oh, I would have done the whole thing. <laughs> oh. oh, you're just trying to be nice and share with me? Yeah, oh, oh. I didn't know. You we were, were. You asked me if I could get the whole thing in my mouth. Well, I had challenged you, you didn't challenge me. I said no, I can't. Here's another fun thing about Pixie Sticks that I remember when, um, like probably about 10 years ago or so, we used to watch these um, kids beauty pageant shows, the Little Miss Perfect pageant show, and the, what was that other one about beauties? What was that other one called? I don't know. He's blocked it out. Well, anyways, the, the moms on those shows would give their kids pixie sticks and have them 
eat a bunch of pixie sticks right before so they would be extra Get like all hyped up. hyper on stage. Like drugs for kids. Mmm. Mmm. It's pretty much like straight sugar. It's a little too much for me. A little too sweet. I don't good. enjoy them as much as I used to, but Pixie Six, I ate the heck out of these in the 80s. I used to love me some Big League Chew. It's another gum that's portraying a tobacco product. It's one, like, <laughs> just another example of candy that when you're a kid that you think you're cool because it's like chewing tobacco, but it's gum. <laughs> I feel like they kind of promoted this. Oh no, this you tear. Oh, my bad. I tried you, to hand him scissors. You get that to tear. Okay. And then see here's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get you a get big, a, big a lot of it. Grrr. Put it in there and make it a mess. Real good. Oh, this reminds me of Napoleon mm. Dynamite. That's so good. Remember Napoleon Dynamite at the at the dance? He goes in the bathroom and gets him a big wad of big league chew. That's right. Uh, good. You doing it right? Mmm. That is good gum. Mmm. That is good. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a minute for it to get into a, it's like stringy for a second. Yeah, then it gets like really soft and then it kind of burns. Oh yeah, bit. that's really good. Mmm. Mm. That mm. brings back some very good memories. I think you can blow some pretty good bubbles with this stuff too yeah. once you get it going. Yeah. Going for another gum? Fruit stripe gum with the little zebra on it. So cute. Now, these used to have temporary tattoos. Do you remember that? Yeah, they don't do that anymore. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it smells good. Oh my gosh. I just caught a whiff of that and it was like it smells the same. smelling my childhood all of a sudden. So when you open it up, I remember at the, the very top of it, tell you what color you're going to get. So yes. there's a red, yellow, red, green, and red. So. I guess I'll have red. All right, well, there's a light red and a dark red. Uh, I guess I'll have this one. Dark red. I'll go with the dark. I'll go with the green. The thing I remember about Fruit Stripe is I love the taste, but it only lasts about five minutes. Yeah, it doesn't last very long. Oh, they do have the temporary tattoos. Sweet. Y'all, I have not probably even had this gum since the 80s. It's the cutest gum. Look, it's all it's striped, hence the name, Fruit Stripe. And on the inside. Okay, moisten skin slightly. I'm getting tatted up. Ah, well, it just looks like a blob. <laughs> the temporary tattoos are not super impressive. As you can see here, it just pretty much just looks like a blob. So, don't have high expectations for the temporary tattoos, but it's a fun idea. Kids would enjoy it. Maybe. 80s kids would enjoy it. Modern kids would say, That's lame. That's it. <laughs> but it was good enough for us. All right, before we get to this next one, we need to talk about Brock's Pick a Mix. Do you remember this? I love the Pick a Mix. I love this. So in the 80s, and a little bit before that too, like in the 70s, they had these Brock's Pick a Mix candy stations in the grocery store, right? Yep. You could put five cents. Put a nickel in a, the little box and take whatever piece you wanted. It was totally honor. There's one. It was a sample. Honor system. Yeah. One sample. I think a lot of people <laughs> took it without paying for it. Though. They probably did. But we didn't. So what you do, you would put, there, there was a variety of a bunch of different candies. Mm -hmm. You put it in a bag. And then when you checked out at the cash register, they would just weigh the bag. Yeah, and, like, like produce. And you pay per pound. Yeah, I mean, don't you love the 80s? They weighed our candy just with the produce. Like, oh, you get apples, get a pound of candy. That's the 80s for you. So which one was your favorite? Oh my gosh, my favorite was the Brock Cinnamon Discs Cinnamon Hard Candies. I am still obsessed with these and I've been really having a hard time finding them because they don't have the pick-a-mix anymore. And you guys, it was very exciting when I found out they have these at our local Dillon store, which is Kroger. So if you guys have any Kroger stores, you might be able to get these. Which is really funny because of all the things in the Pigamex, this would be the last thing I would go to. 
No, the last ones that I would go to, and I think you would agree, were those Neapolitan coconut ones with the three flavors. Okay, this is the second to the last thing I go, I'd go for. My favorite by far was the gummy ones with the, all the sugar on the outside. I love those, especially licorice ones. I do remember those. And there was one that was a black one and it had all the sugar on it, which was the licorice one. And also like the purple one a lot too. I don't like licorice. Mm, it was so good. And I did not like those white nuggets with the little chunks of other jelly colors in there. You're right, this is my third <laughs> Um, You know what else was good though? The butterscotch. The butterscotch, they look exactly like these, but they're yellow and they're butterscotch. You can still get those today. They're good, but you know, if I'm paying for candy by the pound, probably not going for the butterscotch. Butterscotch, okay. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna last very long on this one. All right, now, these can be a little spicy. Is it the spice that you don't like, or you just don't like cinnamon? I'm not a huge cinnamon fan. It, mm. it tastes like Red Hots. Exactly, and I love Red Hots and hot tamales, yeah. and these. Like anything cinnamon, those are my favorite candy. Last but not least, the Ring Pop. Ring Pop! I mean, these are still popular today, too. Abby, I've known you for a very long time. <laughs> Will you remarry me? Yes! Mmm! Jewelry you can eat. I approve. Woo! Now I'm on a sugar high. <laughs> me too. I'll probably have a blue tongue. <laughs> so you've seen the candy that we liked when we were kids. What were some of the candies that you enjoyed? Let us know in the comments below your favorite candies and we hope that you get all your favorites on Halloween. Happy Halloween, y'all. See you tomorrow.